All right, Mina, I had ex absolutely no idea that there was a foot injury that Jimmy G was still dealing with. Obviously, he was yeah. dealing with one last year. But how concerning should this be for the Raiders if Jimmy can't get acclimated to this offense during the offseason? Yeah, it's concerning field for a number of reasons, one of which is what you just said, Jimmy becoming acclimated to the offense. Obviously, there's familiarity between him and the head coach, play caller Josh McDaniels from their time in New England, but I would add depth, and this is something I would put on the Raiders organization if they knew about the injury. Last year, Jarrett Stidham came off of the bench and played really well. He is no longer on this team. Jimmy Garoppolo's backup is Brian Hoyer. I have to ask why they didn't seek a better situation knowing that he had an injury coming into the summer before they signed him because uh, I don't think Raiders fans want to see Brian Hoyer taking snaps. Yeah, I, I had to close my eyes right there, Mina, and just hear the voice of Josh McDaniels. It reminded me so much of Bill Belichick. But I guess if you're around Bill Belichick for an extended period of time, you're probably going to pick up that cadence a little bit. In terms of Jimmy Garoppolo, though, Look, they, they knew what the injury was the entire time. They're not going to disclose that information to the public. It's not significant to the point that he's going to miss significant time. He'll be the starting quarterback at the beginning of the season. Yes, it has some change that has happened since his time in Josh McDaniel's system in New England, but it's like riding a bicycle. You know where you're supposed to go with the ball. You know the progressions, and they're going to change some things from time to time but they're going to do things that he's comfortable with that he is successful at doing, or at least the things he was successful at doing in New England. They're going to implement that back into the game plan. I wouldn't worry about it at all. It's too early to set into a panic. This isn't a broken ankle, broken foot, or anything like that. I think he'll be fine come time when he's ready to go. I, you know, Key, I'm, I want to be with you there, and I want to give Josh McDaniel the benefit of the doubt when we talk about this foot injury, but at the same time, they didn't know everything when they signed him. There was a reason why they delayed his press conference, because they learned during the physical that this injury was going to require surgery, that it wasn't exactly what uh, they initially expected coming out of San Francisco. So, look, yes, as Josh McDaniels said, there is 100 days between now and the start of the season. There's plenty of time for this to get right. I am curious, though, without knowing much until today when this news was suddenly sprung on us, whether or not this is more serious than we need to, uh, to assume. So we'll see. Look, I think it's fine. You're right. We're at the time of year where we can continue to just rehabilitate. But to me, for a guy, as Mina said, uh, we're talking about who's dealt with injuries, the reason why he probably uh, lasted this long on the open market. So I guess I can just say we'll see. And by the way, if you thought it stopped there for the Raiders, don't forget just a couple of weeks ago, when Devontae Adams spoke to the ringer and had this to say, this is about the front office, quote, they think this is the best bet for us right now to put us in a position to be urgent. We don't see eye to eye on what we think is best for us right now. I'm going to have to buy into this and try to be as optimistic as possible. It's not what I expected to happen, but it's something that's the reality now, And quote. Here's Josh McDaniels on those comments earlier today. Devon all right, so a little bit different tone there from Devontae in that second quote, but it's only – it would be great, like, if we could find, a, like, a formerly outspoken wide receiver who was maybe <laughs> for bringing some color to this situation. Mm. Keith, what do you think of all this from Devontae Adams? Because obviously, uh, you know, even if his tone today was different, that quote to the ringer a couple weeks ago was fairly notable to me. Well, I'm the only guy on the show – in general, that speak receiver talk, right? <laughs> I speak receiver. Yeah. And, right. and, and what Devontae is saying right there is he, he appreciates the fact that he's a Raider, but what was told to him prior to becoming a Raider that he was going to be there with his quarterback in Derek Carr. Well, yeah. that didn't happen. In comes Jimmy Garoppolo. So it's a different situation for him all the way around. He trusts the process because he's there. He's getting paid to do his job, but he's not happy – at the same time, when you're being told something and then it changes right before your eyes, you're going to be disappointed in that moment in time. Now, there's a different tone, like you mentioned, uh, Phil, about now what he's saying, because they had a conversation and they said, hey, do us a favor. Just keep it in house. We, we don't want to be answering questions from reporters about the things that you've said. Now, he went out there and he bought with Carr. Is he going to do the same things with Jimmy Garoppolo? Probably not. Because Jimmy, to me, isn't the same type of quarterback that Carr is with, with Devontae Adams. Yeah, I mean, 
he, you're absolutely right. I don't, I don't think you need to be a former wide receiver to know that Devontae Adams would not be a Las Vegas Raider if Derek Carr wasn't the quarterback when the trade happened. They're friends yes. from college. Uh, it was his primary reason for choosing Vegas. And as you alluded to, I think his departure is disappointing, not only from a personal sense, but also from a football one. I, Jimmy Garoppolo can definitely be a productive quarterback in Josh McDaniels' offense, but he does not push the ball downfield. Uh, that has been the case his entire career. He's very deliberate about when he attempts deep passes. And what that means is Devontae Adams is not going to have as many of those beautiful back shoulder fades <laughs> that we associate with him over the course of his career. So I don't blame him for expressing some frustration. But I do think it's important to note that it's clearly about the situation, the departure of Carr. It doesn't sound mm -hmm. like there's any sort of discrepancy between him and the head coach. You know, one, one okay, thing, we jump back yeah, in here real I, quick. I, yeah, go ahead. Go I was going to say, to follow up what you're saying, Mina, one thing that receivers do, when we get introduced to a playbook, the first thing we do is we look, and we start looking to see what plays you got in there. <laughs> and Devontae Adams went to that playbook. He started looking. He was like, oh, no, we're running sticks and dink and dunks. That's what he did. I'm telling you what he did. <laughs> That's like when I used to go into the yearbook and look in the index for my name just so I could flip back to see whatever oh, pictures I was in. Look. Seminole High School. <laughs> I don't speak wide receiver, but I do speak sports reporter and cynical sports reporter at that. So my only concern here is that we're not going down the same road that Josh McDaniels went down when he was the head coach of the Denver Broncos. Yeah. I think that Devontae Adams did a really good job of clearing this up today. That was a very good sign because when I saw those original quotes from him, I thought uh, it was pretty disconcerting. All right. So even, by the way, even if Devontae Adams is content and all is good, one thing we do know, two of the Raiders' biggest additions this offseason, Jimmy Garoppolo and Tyree Wilson, their first pick, seventh overall, both coming back from significant foot issues. Something to keep an eye on as we get closer to the training field. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.